So up tonight at 630, a Colorado Springs sporting goods store that refused to sell Nike apparel after last year's Colin Kaepernick campaign has announced it is going out of business. The owner telling News 5 he can no longer afford the monthly lease after running that store for over 20 years. News 5's Laura Wilson spoke with him today. She's in studio with this interview you only hear on News 5. Laura. Well, primetime sports owner Stephen Martin told me that he doesn't regret taking a stand against NFL players like Colin Kaepernick and Brandon Marshall in the past. But he admits refusing to sell Nike apparel in his store came at a big cost. Stephen Martin knew this day would come, just not this soon. I just can't keep the doors open anymore. Primetime staff posting discount signs all over the store. That's definitely what brought us in for sure. But customers quickly learning this sale will be the final one. Disappointed you guys are going out of business. Yeah, man. All of us are, that's for sure. This isn't the first time Martin has slashed prices like this, choosing to get rid of all Nike apparel last fall following the company's ad campaign with Colin Kaepernick. Being a sports store without Nike is kind of like being a milk store without milk or a gas station without gas. How do you do it? They have a monopoly on jerseys. Is there a certain team you're looking for? Martin says online sales have also contributed to the 15% decline in sales he's seen in the last three years. Oh, there's a nice one. But loyal customers like Dave Huddy still prefer to stay local, buying a variety of things. A wallet, a hat, um, a blanket. You, <laughs> I did it. I bought it. Just follow me. I'm just going to keep going. The store will stay open until there's nothing left. But Martin says he'll be leaving with his dignity. I didn't give in to big Nike and big dollars. I didn't give in. I did it my way. I don't like losing a business over it, but I would rather be able to live with myself. <laughs> and I did ask Martin what's next. He told me he's a year away from retirement, so he'll be all right. So right now he's trying to help his staff find other jobs because primetime could be closed in as little as four weeks. Mike, over to you.